Hi everyone. What is sound? Sound is a vibration. That means something is moving back and forth very quickly. Like when I pluck on this rubber band. It's vibrating. Or when I pluck on one of the strings on my auto harp. When things vibrate, they make sound. Our voices make sound too. We vibrate our throats. La, you can put your hand there and feel it moving. La, and that makes the air near it vibrate, and that makes the air near that vibrate, and so on and so on, until the sound reaches somebody's ear and they say, oh, I hear something. If somebody's close to you, you can hear them talking pretty clearly. But if they're farther away, their voice gets quieter and quieter and quieter and quieter and it gets harder and harder and harder to hear them. Sometimes they're really far away and then you need a special tool to hear them. So today we're going to make a tool for hearing people's voices far away and it's called a string telephone. To make your string telephone you're going to need a couple of supplies. You're going to need either paper or plastic cups. I prefer paper cups because they're easier to work with. You're going to need two paper clips, scissors, a pencil if you're using the paper cups, and some string. So the first thing we need to do is cut some string. And I'm going to cut a short piece just so that it fits in my video, but you can make yours longer. Now we need to attach our cups to the ends of our strings. If you're using a plastic cup, you'll need a grown-up to help you, and they'll need something pointy, like pointy scissors, to poke a hole in the bottom of the cup. I'm going to use a paper club, cup, and these are easier. We just use a sharp pencil. So I make a hole in the bottom of my cup. I'm going to make it a little bigger, because that'll make it a little easier. Okay. Now, we take one end of our string and we put it through that hole. And if it's hard to get it through the hole, then make your hole bigger. Now, we need that string to stay there. So, we make a knot, but this knot is gonna slip right through that hole. So, we're gonna use a paper clip to help us out. So we're gonna tie the paper clip on too. And that will help keep the string in place. Now before we finish our phone, let's do a quick experiment. Let's put it up to our ear and pinch that string and run your fingers along. Oh, that makes an interesting sound. Make sure you try that. Okay, we're going to attach the other end. Again, go. we have to make a hole in the cup. the string in from the bottom, tie on our paper clip. You can put a knot there if you want first, if you want, you don't have to. I better double knot it so it stays. And I like to slide the knot so it's kind of in the middle of the paper clip. Now your string telephone is ready. Now you need two people and each person needs to hold one end. And when you're using your telephone, you need to make sure that your string is straight and tight. That's how the vibrations can travel along the string. If your string is sagging and loose, the vibrations will just make the string wobble and the vibrations won't travel all the way to the other end of the string. So find somebody to help you out. Ask them to hold one cup, hold it up to their ear, and you'll start by talking into your string telephone. And maybe you can even whisper and say something very quiet, like a secret message. And then ask them if they heard you, or maybe ask them a question. And then switch. Put it up to your ear. Ask them to talk very quietly. And try with longer strings, maybe different kinds of strings. Let me know how it works. Uh, if you like, you can share a video about your project on the Flipgrid, and I hope your string telephones turn out great.